Halloween night, and quad bikes join a high-speed rampage through the capital. 200 bikers raced through five London boroughs. Eyewitnesses later said it was a miracle no one was hurt. This weekend, though, two quad bikers were critically injured on the North Circular. This shows the air ambulance landing on the carriageway to treat the men, both in their 30s. The road was closed for more than six hours. The Metropolitan Police are still investigating what happened here yesterday and have given out few details. But at this point, there's nothing to suggest that the two men were driving illegally or indeed irresponsibly. But this accident does raise concerns around the safety of quad bikes on busy roads and motorways. So what are the rules on quad bikes? Well, most can't be used on the road because they don't meet safety standards. For those that are allowed, an MOT, tax and driver insurance are needed. Drivers and passengers don't have to wear crash helmets, but it is recommended. Not everyone does, though. We filmed this this afternoon in North London. Some believe they should face tougher rules. Quad bikes, by their nature, uh, can be difficult to uh, control at times. So therefore, the REC believes that, like motorcyclists, uh, the uh, quad bike riders on London roads and on UK roads should be subject to the same laws, therefore they should be wearing helmets. But at this shop in Barnet, they feel many quad bikers are getting a tough time. Any vehicle get a bad name. There's car racing, there's all kinds of racing going on. If people are using quads for reasons they're not supposed to, then obviously that's going to be a, a negative point towards quad biking. But there's thousands of people out there that will disagree and say they use them for their own uses, for green laning, for race purposes on tracks, and responsibly on the road as well. There's a lot of people that do use them safely. A noisy and relatively new addition to our roads. The debate on quad bikes hurtles on. Nick Beek, BBC London News.